Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Bombs. We hope you're doing well. I want to do a quick little video for you. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we did a video where we do these little straws with some uh, little first aid creams in them. If our Altoids kid, Malfoids, Malfoids, sorry, Malfoids. Mal don't want to copyright Malfoids um, tin first aid kit. Uh, maybe we'll go and show you the content of that on another video. That's but, great um, with straws, man. Yeah, I it was that. cool. But uh, so what I wanted to do was do another good little, times, good times, good times, yeah. <laughs> I want to do another one, another video where I wanted to put a fire kit inside of a, inside of a, a little a little tin like that. Um, I don't get out into the real bush as much as I used to. I got I got three I got three kids. I'm married. I work a lot, so uh, a lot of my woods time is like Word. little day hikes, little camping. You, you feel me, bro? I feel you. Little camping, like but day hikes, but not really out where I need a bunch of bunch of gear. So um, you know, I started using smaller and smaller packs and I kind of keep it everything in a little bit of a shoulder bag or a haversack like this. And uh, my fire kit was just too big and my first aid kit was too big. So I just started to pare things down to the things I would really need in case of an emergency rather than things I would just like to have because. Um, so this is kind of this fire kit is not something I ever really intend on using, although I certainly could use it. It's more of like a save me kit. Most of the time, I don't know if I always keep, a, I have a fire steel attached to my knife right here, a little, it's a little, uh, uh, Swedish light my fire fire steel and I also always have another one on a lanyard in my pocket attached to my belt So I don't lose it. So this is really the the main way that I start all my fires So this is really kind of I, just I don't have up. to carry any because Johnny's got I always have 6,000 ways to start a fire <laughs> on me I'm Mr. Heatmiser I'm Mr. Mr. 101 But um so yeah, so this is like a little like a little save me kit just in case uh, to keep in my bag with some a little accoutrements in it. So I figured, you know, let's just go through the contents, right? Why not? The first thing I have a little piece of duct tape over here to cover up the name for copyright infringement. But also I, I put a little hole in the top there of the tin. I don't know if you can see it, just so I can use it as a as a charring tin if I want. All right, so I can I can char cotton material or plant fibers or anything like that. All right, so when we open it up, you see it's there's nothing. What I wanted to do with this kit too, they sell a lot of fancy gear that you can put specifically in small little kits like this, little waterproof lighters with O-rings and sparkers and this and that. I really wanted to try and not to buy anything new and uh, and just to kind of, for my own thing, because I want to save money and also because I don't, you know. I, I, you like to do things the old way. Yeah, you don't have way. to. You don't have to you do know? it, yeah. All right, so let's just go through it. Some of it's, it's, fairly, it's not rocket science, it's fairly basic, all right? I wanted three methods of ignition and three methods of tender in there and any little bonus features I can get. All right, so the first thing I got here, this is basic, all right? This is a, mi a mini big lighter wrapped inside plastic just to give it a little bit of protection from any moisture, all right? The reason I went with this, they sell these little mini lighters with O-rings in them, but you got to fill them with lighter fluid. This I've had been carrying around in my backpack for years. It always lights. I almost never use it. It's an emergency thing, all right? It's small, and I never have to refill it. Those little, those little, little, um... Like Zippos and stuff yeah, like that, check you, you always got to refill them, that'll dry out. And the last right. thing I want to do is get to the point where I really need this and have it be like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to deal with that, all right? So I got that, and then with that, I have a bunch of sticks of fatwood, which is always great, right? Fatwood, you got to love it. And guys, if you can't start a fire with this much fatwood, That's you can pack it up and go home. Fire starting 101. Exactly. Brother. And what's beautiful about this is you don't need to go crazy with it. You give it a little, couple of little shavings here if you can. I'm not even trying to go crazy with it. And I just, here's my lighter. Boom. Flame on, and you just build Flame your fire on. right around that. All right? So pretty good stuff right there, all right? So I'm gonna scrap that, put it over here for later so I can reload this. All right, next, I have a little, I have a little piece of a ferro rod in here and a striker. Uh, you say, why does he have a striker? You're gonna use your knife? Yeah, I can use my knife, but it's just flat. It weighs like a, it weighs like an ounce, so who cares? Why don't right? you just tell me the name of the striker you'd so, like to use? So this is a uh, you know a little just a little a little tiny striker. Like I said, I have another nice ferro rod. Coming yeah. off there, brother. And with that in here, I have some petroleum jelly cotton balls wrapped in plastic. I used to carry these in a spy capsule in my bag. Again, these have been in my bag for priceless. like these have been in my bag for like two years, and they 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 you know. I'm just going to break a little piece off so you can see. They come in really handy. When, when, bitter, the, cold, when the chips are down, rain. that's the difference between being warm and being dead. So it's nice to have in a little emergency kit. You don't need a lot. You know, you light it up. There you go. And you just build your fire right around that with your ferro rod. Boom. 
And that's going to burn for, you know, that's a little piece of one cotton ball that's going to yeah, burn. So for anybody that's watching, because there are new people watching this, Johnny, just explain what that is. Because they are, Yeah, that's like, a good point. That's a good point. A lot of times you I'll know. just use terms like everyone knows. This is just a, a regular 100% cotton ball like you get in the pharmacy, and you just take so some Vaseline, is, and you and work it into the fibers. In. We have a video on that on the channel. Back in the old days, yeah. All so, right, but look how long that's burning. You, you yeah, can you could literally just build to, a fire to, right to, around yeah. that, right? You know, so right. for, for the people that are not in the yeah. know. So let's ash that out. All right, so that's for that, okay? So also in here I have a little blow tube, and this is handy in wet conditions or windy conditions when you're really trying to get a fire going, when it's damp. You need that oxygen you can extend, down you, below. Yeah, you get that and get those sparks going. Or if you had a fire overnight, you had to spend an unplanned overnight somewhere, you need to blow a fire back up yeah. from the coals. Yeah. This is a handy little piece of kit. It weighs nothing, folds down, it's small. I already had it, so that made it go in. The last method of ignition I have, this is kind of like a last ditch thing, but the whole pack is really last ditch. But this is um, this is just a, a little Fresno lens. Uh, I think it's either three or six. Someone out there is going to be like, it's four or two. I don't know. I don't, I don't care. It's a magnifying it, yeah, glass. It's a magnifying glass. I keep it in a plastic thing just so it doesn't get scratched up any more than it needs to. And with that, I have a little bit of char cloth in here. I have the tin set up so I could char more. Char cloth works great. It's not super sunny right now, but on a sunny day, char cloth works great with a, a magnifying lens. Um, and the, you can do light, uh, any type of natural fibrous tinder with a magnifying lens if you have enough time and enough sun. The char cloth is also great with flint and steel. And you might be saying, you don't have flint and steel in there. But we live in the Northeast, and what we have is a lot of these sort of quartzite type rocks. This is just stuff we picked up, some rocks we just picked up from the yard here. And I always have my carbon steel belt knife. So. You know, you with a little ingenuity, hopefully you can kind of get some sparks to go. One just landed right there. Let's see if we can get this to, any of this to light up. A couple of lamp, oh, you there got we it. go. You got it. All right. So sometimes with you know, using these natural materials, it takes a little extra. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got a little piece of a little piece of char cloth right there. And that's going to that's gonna blow up. That's enough to blow up your tinder bundle there. So there it is, a full, pretty comprehensive tinder, uh, uh, what a fire kit fit inside an Altoids tin. Malfoids. Malfoids, sorry, sorry. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. A little, I think it's pretty comprehensive, you know, for an emergency kit, you know. Or uh, even just so you don't have to carry a bunch of other stuff. Dude. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is like tiny. It's tiny, it fits in, in the haversack. Does, exactly. If you want to leave your haversack at camp and go walk, but you say, I don't want to go without stuff to make a fire, boom, you can do that too. A lot of guys make these like survival kits out of these. I may try that down the road, but I feel like it's a that's a little too limiting to kind of fit all the gear. You, you kind of just maybe I got fishing line in there and some nonsense. Yeah. But it, I, maybe I'll try it. I don't know. But uh, and if you guys are interested, <laughs> look at this. It's still burning. Still, we had another piece on this still burning. Yeah. So uh, if you guys are interested down the road and seeing what's in that first aid kit, let me know. Again, it's a small concentrated. Hope I don't need it kit. All right, guys, bushcraft bums, I hope you liked the video. Remember to subscribe and like, hit the like button, please. I have a lot of people who are watching but not hitting the like button. Please hit the like button. And also, please check out my brother Matt's channel, Blue Cottage Picking. A lot of, a lot of great uh, traditional uh, flat picking guitar music with uh, historical context. So go check it out. All right, stay blessed. We love you. Catch you on the next one.